Hello, good morning once again, my dear students at home. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Now we have here again about the square root. So we're going to simplify about radicals or simplifying radicals. So as you can see here, just, just only simple operations. We have addition and subtraction. So we're just only simplify this expression having radicals. Now for this one, for this kind of uh, radicals, we need to have, like in order that we can simplify this or to add or subtract, that the uh, number inside the, the radical sign must be the same. Like for example, if the number here inside is 2, then the other one is 2 also. Or uh, the number that would be left inside the radical uh, will be uh, the prime numbers, like 2, 3, 5, 7, uh, 11, etc. Okay, if that's so, then you can uh, find uh, any uh, combining every other number that can be together if they have the same uh, number or radicand inside the radical sign. So we start. For 27, we can write this as four th uh, 3 times 9, right? For 75, we can have 3 and 25, 3 times 25. So you will see that there's a common. For this one, the first expression, we have 3 and 9. So we have 3. For 75, we have 3 and 25. Uh, 25. So 3 is common. So meaning to say that we can think that our uh, radicand that will be left in our radical sign will be the prime number 3. So we start to do, for, uh, we have here, so for 27, we have 3 power 2 or 9, 9 times 3 is 27, right? For 5 power 2 is 25, times 3, that is 75, okay? So for this one, we can extract this because it has power 2, as well as with this, right? So what would be left is 3 and 3 here. Yeah, and we have the next step. So we put this out. We have this one. And what would be left inside the radical is the radicand 3. On the other side, we have 5 will go out, extracted. We have here. And what would be left inside, we have 3. Now, we combine this first. That would be 3 times 3 is 9. Square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3. Now, for this... Since that our uh, radical having the radical 3 is equal to the other one, which is also uh, the radical 3, meaning to say that we can add the coefficient, this one, this coefficient plus this coefficient will be added. Okay? They will be added together. So we have 9 plus 5. 9 plus 5 is 14 square root of 3. So with this one, we just only copy this. Okay, we will not add this because it's addition. We cannot combine that for addition or subtraction. Uh, it will be like only square root of 3 or square root of 3 because it's like the variable. So if you have uh, addition and subtractions of variables, then the variables will just stay as variable. It will not be combined together like or what power, no. So it will stay like this but we can combine as long as they are the same uh, number radicand. Next we have here 15 square root of x minus 9 square root of x. Okay, now you will see that our um, radical sign, the radicand are the same already. We have x and x. So meaning to say that we can simplify the coefficient 15 minus 9. We can subtract 15 minus 9 right away. Because since that our radical sign here, the radicand, are equal, that is x. So 15 minus 9, that would be 6, okay? Or 6 square root of x, that's the answer. Simple. Our main purpose here to make uh, the radicand for the radical must be the same, okay? The value, the value of the radicand will be the same. Next we have letter C. We have here negative 5 square root of 7 plus square root of 28. So here in our first expression, we have first term, rather, first term, 
We have 7 already. This is a prime number. Okay? Now, uh, we have a clue already that for 28, we need to have 7. And 28, the factors of 28 are 4 and 7. Okay? 4 is a perfect square. And 7 is a prime number. And that would be the value of the radicand that will stay, right? So for that, we have negative 5, square root of 7, plus this is 4. 4 times 7, or 2 power 2, right? Now we can extract this out. That would be negative 5, square root of 7. This will be out here, like this 2. This will be square root of 7. Now, you will see that our uh, the radical sign... This one, the radical having the same number, 7 and the square root of 7, right? So meaning to say that if they are equal, we can add the coefficient. So we have negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, square root of 7. So square root of 7 will just go together with the coefficient. You will not add nor multiply the radicand. Okay, just let it go be with the coefficient, the answer, the final answer of the coefficient. So from negative 5 plus 2, that is negative 3, times square root of 7. Okay? Question? No. Now we go to our uh, question letter D. We have there, 3 square root of 12 minus square root of 108. Now for this one, we have, for 12, we can have... 3 and 4, right? For this one, what do you think of the number that we can have for 108? We have 9, 4, and 3, or that is 27. That is 27 and 4. So here, we're going to start now. We have this one. So we have, what's this? Uh, for 27, we have 3 power to 9 times 3, that is 27, times 4, 2 power 2, is 108, okay? Now, we start to extract. For this, we can extract this out. For 3, we can extract this out. 2, we can this extract this out. So, what would be left inside? We have 3, and here, 3, okay? So, we have here this one. So, for this, we have 2, and for the other one, we have 3 and 2. This one, these two numbers. So we can multiply that first. We have 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now you see that they're the same. The coefficient, the same. The radical, the same. The radicand, the same. Meaning to say that since that this is subtraction, 6 squared of 3 minus 6 squared of 3 is 0. Okay, there we go. So therefore, the... The simplified form for this one is zero. As simple as that. Did you understand it? I hope so. Thank you very much. And uh, more videos uh, uh, for square root and the uh, next coming days. Okay? Bye-bye.